Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities markets and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 21st, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as expected, we have rallied a little bit in today's training session. But at the end of the session, uh, everything has basically turned around. Basically, when I'm uh, as, as I'm talking that here, everything is turning around in the market. The Nasdaq, which was deeply in red, has become uh, nearly green. And the US dollar index, which was appreciating, has basically uh, given most of those gains back. So at this point, we may see a similar rally next week um, in the US dollar index, but it won't hold. It will get close to the 20 exponential and then continue further down. If you look at technical indicators for the US dollar index, we are still oversold at this point. We're at 29. Technical indicators are otherwise turning around quite slowly. It's not an aggressive turnaround. So we'll just see similar to this a gradual uh, increase and then just plummet to the downside. I think that has been the uh, case for several weeks now. Actually, since the beginning of November, we have these rallies, breakdown, rally, breakdown, and so on and so on. And um, that seems um, very likely to just continue uh, on into the future. So let's look at oil. We can see that oil has had its best run since, well, a very, very, very long time ago. It hasn't been rallying like this since basically in September. This was back in, um, well, 2019, um, October 2019. So it's a long time ago since oil had a, a, a similar rally like this. But we are getting very overstretched at this point. We are significantly overbought. There is not the same demand for oil in the world economy as it was prior to coronavirus. So expect a lot of selling when you get to basically the 50 or probably it will overshoot to 51 and then it will head straight towards the 20 exponential. So there's going to be a bottom here roughly. Uh, in this area here, there's going to be quite a lot of support. So from 35 to 36, I expect this market to basically turn around again. So if you look at technical indicators for oil, we are significantly overbought. CCI is turning around, stochastic is turning around. The MACD is also looking like it's becoming more flat. We are getting really overstretched and therefore expect a pullback at any point at this stage. So let's look at natural gas. We can see that we are still here. We have been rallying today, but we are not able to break the 20 exponential moving average at this point. So it's just more of the same. We break down, rally towards the 20, break down again, rally towards 20, break down, and again, rally against 20. So there are there are two things that are going to happen. We can just continue this uh, this decline towards the 200 moving average, or this will rally significantly due to the snowstorm that is hitting the uh, northeast of the United States. And that usually has an enormous effect on the price of natural gas. So uh, we will see what basically happens. I am not going to enter this market until we get a clarification of a rally because of increased demand or whether or not we break down from here. And this should be enormous support down here. And a lot of buyers will come in and buy this to the upside. So let's look at copper. We can see that we have rallied yet again. Um, we are at 3.635. Uh, and uh, yes, we are also getting really, really overstretched in copper. We're at 76 at this point. 
Technical indicators are still very bullish at this date. It doesn't look like there's any signs of this um, going for a massive decline whatsoever. This has been an absolutely enormous run for copper. There have been several instances where you basically expected copper to basically be declining, but it has increased and increased and increased. And at this point, well, there's no indecitement really. Every single time we get close to the 20 exponential, this rallies. It is not a good idea to buy it here because we're significantly overbought, um, but pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that still works as buying opportunities. Um, and as long as that is the case, then that is the way to go. So let's look at gold. So we may see a continuation of the same thing that we've been seeing for a very long time. So we can just go back to August. We went to the all time highest here at uh, 2071, give or take. Broke down all the way down towards 1860, rallied, and then traded side phase for a very long time. And now we have done, and then we broke down again, traded sideways, broke down, and then we, now we have rallied just underneath the 200 moving average. And now we're trading just above the 50 moving average. But we've been here before. We tried to rally above the 50 and broke significantly down. And uh, I'm afraid that we're probably going to see the same thing happen again. So until further, my analysis still is holding. And that is that we have above here a significant resistant line that we most likely will not get through at this stage. And underneath, we have a significant support line, which we will not get through in this stage either. So we'll most likely just trade in between this resistant and support line for the foreseeable future until we get into this corner where we'll break out to the upside. I'm not favoring the downside because there is going to be a lot of um, spending from government, um, from government and also uh, central banks and that will be very bullish for gold and therefore in the long run it will go higher and not lower. If you look at technical indicators for, for gold, there are basically all over the place. RSI is becoming negative, the CCI is, is basically flat, and the stochastic and the, and the MACD are bullish at this point. But if we break below the 50 moving average, that only means that we are going back towards the 200 or the probably the very lows here at the 1822 and then just rally up again. And we'll just go sideways until we get into this corner. Otherwise, if we continue this rally here um, next week uh, and break above this uh, resistant line, that means that we're going to go significantly higher. So let's look at silver. So silver did break its resistant line a few days ago. We had a very similar case here where we broke above and now we are, we got fairly overstretched and now we turned around a little bit today. So at this point we are trading at 25.72. Technical indicators are mostly all of them turning around. CCI so is turning around, stochastic is turning around and so is the RSI, but the MACD is not. So a pullback towards this trend line here and if it's basically supportive that basically means that you can enter for a buy for the long run. Otherwise it will just continue going higher. I think that we'll find a lot of support here, roughly at the $25. Uh, that is probably going to be the floor in this market. So let's look at uh, platinum. You can see that we have been all over the place today. Uh, we fell all the way down to uh, 10, uh, 24 before uh, rallying again, and then now we're back down. At this point, I think that we're going all the way down to the 20, 20 exponential moving average. Um, these technical indicators are looking uh, more bearish um, for every minute. So that is very likely that we're going to test the 20 exponential. If this breaks, then we're heading all the way down towards this area here around uh, 960 and then the, 20, the 50 moving average. 
if we go towards the 20 and that seems to be supportive and we turn around there, then that is impossible to buy in with a stop loss run underneath and the target of these very of these highs. So let's look at Pallium. We can see that we have rallied to the upside, and this is what I was expecting. We were creating a triangle here, and we have technically broken out of this triangle. So yesterday, we basically got stuck right in this corner, and I said that we will most likely break to the upside or we'll break to the downside. We break, broke to the upside. We're trading above the... 50 moving average, which is a very good sign. And the uh, problem probably is, is that we gave most of these gains back. But we're still trading above the 50 moving average. These technical indicators are still turning around. So if we get uh, another candlestick above and can break these, pre these uh, highs of the day, then that's a very good sign that we are going to go uh, significantly higher in this market. So there is a barrier above. We have tried this several times before. It is right here. That is the resistant line that we have to get through in order to get to these, uh, these very highs. A break down from here will open the door to the very lows at 2.184. So, so let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have broken down yet again today. We are technically trading sideways at this point. There seems to be a lot of resistance above here. The question is how much support there is underneath. So if we manage to break the 20 exponential, then we're heading towards the 50 moving average. And that should be enormous support for this market. Technical indicators are all over the place. RSI is flat, CCI is negative, and the uh, stochastic is uh, positive at this point, and bullish at this point, and that MACD is bearish at this point. So uh, we technically need clarity in this market. It is a pure gamble to enter this. We, if a breakdown towards the 20, if that seems to be supportive, then it's possible to buy it to target these highs. A break below the 20 opens the door to the 50, and that will definitely be a buying opportunity. But these technical indicators also have to go um, in the right direction uh, all at the same time. So let's look at nickel. As you can see, we are trading sideways at this point. We rallied and then broke down quite significantly, and that is a horrible candlestick, uh, to be very honest. This is an inverted hammer. Usually that's a sign of very bearishness, and that means that we most likely will see this fall towards the 20 exponential, which is a good thing because then we can buy into this if the 20 exponential then holds. If not, we're heading towards these previous highs here and just above the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for this market are turning around. They are all getting looking more bearish at, for every minute. And we are on the edge of being overbought. So pull back towards 20. That's a possible buy into this market. So let's look at sugar. As you can see, well, it's, it, it was a nice rally, but it happened what I was afraid of what would happen. That is that we rallied up towards the 50 and then got really rejected at the 50. And that is not a good sign. At this point, it is more likely that we'll make a lower low instead of breaking the 50 and going higher. Technical indicators for this, for example, the RSI and the CCI are looking very negative at this point. Sarcastic is turning around and the MACD is also um, turning around. It's not going to cross the 61 at this point. So it's more likely that we're going to head towards um, these previous lows. If that breaks, then we are going significantly lower. And that is a shame because now it's not uh possible basically a possible uh, buy-in for this market it's not going to break the 50 at this point well most likely so let's look at cotton as you can see we have uh, done really nothing we are stuck here at the very top but at this point i think that we're going to see a pullback towards roughly 0 0.75 41 
Uh, technical indicators are turning around. We are overbought, so expect a pullback from here. Um, we are very far away from the 20 exponential, so it is probably uh, possible to sell this, but uh, keep in mind, it's an enormous risk that you are taking. The better trade is to wait for it to drop towards the 20 and then buy into this. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa is interesting because it has found support here at the 50 moving average. And right underneath the 50 moving average, we have the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. So if we manage to uh, rally from here, then we are going to test the 20 exponential uh, again. And if we fall uh, below the 50, then we have the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. And it'll be interesting to see whether or not this holds or this holds. But there is going to be a lot of support here. The 50 is showing support. There will be even more support underneath here. So we'll see basically what happens. Um, if we fall toward below the 50, hit the 61.8, and then give it a green candlestick here. That is basically a sign that we are going to go higher from here. That will basically turn around here. A break below the 61.8 opens the door to the 200 and most likely very lows. Um, so technical indicators are still very bearish at this point. Um, there's not a lot to say. We just have to wait to see the reaction of... of um, of uh, these price levels on these uh, support lines. So let's look at wheat. And as you can see, we are trading above the 50 moving average still. It's not a very encouraging candlestick. I was hoping for a rally to towards these highs here, but we did not get that. We pulled back quite significantly towards the 50, rallied again, and so on. And at this point, technical indicators are looking uh, fairly weak. They are bullish, but they're looking fairly weak. If we fall towards the 50 and then turn around there, then that's a buying opportunity. If we take out these previous highs, that is also a buying opportunity. So it is also a waiting game. This is not a very clear signal of where we're going. We could basically fall much lower from here. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me and ask about the, any trades that you're doing. Uh, otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.